there's a live look outside this Labor Day weekend. No complaints from me weather-wise. The only complaint except I'm inside at work. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is here with a check of your exact cast, but we do have some showers in the area. Oh, listen, we've had some big thunderstorms. Mississippi Gulf Coast on the North Shore into Lake Bourne, but you look out the window, West Jeff Medical Center camera, it looks pretty good. I do want to show you our exact live radar. Here is a look, and notice how there is a little bit of rain showing up, moving to the southwest towards the south shore. That's towards the metro area, but the point I want to make here, that rain is kind of diminishing as it moves to the south, and that's a good thing because we've got a whole lot of festivals going on, right? So here is the big picture, and look at all of this rain that's been moving to the southwest. Here's that big thunderstorm storm that's right over Lake Bourne. That's the kind of thunderstorm you want to avoid. It started there on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, heading southwest, heading right towards Wyklosky. A whole lot of lightning, so mariners get someplace safe really quickly. And then on the north shore, look at this outflow boundary that's moving to the north. That could fire up a little bit more rain. Metro area, here's that shower that's moving southwest, but it's really dying as it does. So we can look at the big picture of what we're expecting expecting for tomorrow and there is going to be some rain and thunderstorm activity in the afternoon. It's going to be another hot day. High temperatures low to the mid 90s just like today. Then as we go into your Tuesday, but again after Labor Day, who really cares, right? And you can see the potential once more for some scattered activity. High temperatures again low to the mid 90s. Then you look to the north, and what do you see but a cold front moving to the south. So our rain chances are going to be higher for Wednesday and actually Thursday and Friday. That means it's not going to be as hot. High temperatures in the upper 80s. Now we're looking at Grace. My daughter is actually named Grace. This is a tropical storm. It's moving to the west. Max winds 50 miles per hour. It's going to have the same problem that all of our tropical weather has had. A whole lot of dry air, strong winds aloft. This is something we really like. We can look at that forecast track, and as you go out in time, even though it's approaching the Leeward Islands, it may even dissipate before it gets there. Here is a look at some of our models, and they are indicating that it could dissipate before it actually hits the Leeward Islands. This is a global forecast model. Our American model shows it moving into the northern Leeward Islands and then diminishing. So we'll just keep you posted. This is why the game was canceled at Tiger Stadium. Man, was there a lot of lightning. Very dangerous. Brett sent in that twit pick. He was at the game. Poor thing. No game. Then you can see in Franklinton, Jay said the wind was blowing. It was getting ready to rain. High temperatures so far from the upper 80s to the mid 90s over at Audubon. High temperature at the airport, 91. The average is 90. Oh, look, we just hit that 91 degree temperature again. So as we look at our temperatures now, Slidell has dropped to 73 and the rain, 73 in Gulfport too. The wind light in many locations, but we've had those winds gusting and the stronger storms. Going through the evening, the rain is going to begin to diminish. And your morning low temperatures, generally in the low to the mid-70s, not bad. A nice start to your Labor Day. As you go into the afternoon, it's going to be hot. We're going to be back into the low to the mid-90s. Do expect some rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon. So when you're along the coast or over the Boating on the lake, keep in mind there is that potential for some thunderstorm activity. Tidal range is great at a foot, so just keep an eye to the sky. Here we are in the afternoon at 3 o'clock, about 89, 90 degrees, but wait, look into the week. Rain chances do go up, and that means your temperatures are going to be lower, and a front gets into the area and stalls. It may push far enough south that our weather will improve and we'll get some sunshine and lower humidity in here. I'll keep you posted. All right, Margaret.